thank you everyone. Um, the reason I can talk about Nembe in a nutshell is because I don't know too much about it. <laughs> it is far too complicated and drawn out for me to really know too much to tell you. But uh, here we go. Uh, the purpose of Nembe is to provide for the management and conservation of Southern people's <coughs> biodiversity. And it is chapter five um, that concerns us. It deals with alien and invasive species and these are organisms posing potential threats to biodiversity. The object of Chapter 5 is to prevent the unauthorized introduction and spread of these invasive and alien species, to manage and to control them, and in some cases to eradicate them. For the first time in South Africa, there are regulations uh, for, uh, for invasive species that include organisms other than plants. And these comprehensive lists um, that have been uh, compiled of invasive species are all plant, uh, in, in organisms that are already in South Africa are invasive and they need to be controlled. The prohibited lists are species that are not yet in South Africa and that we don't want in the country. If we have a look at NEMBA, it supersedes a previous um, legislation, the Conservation of Agricultural Resources Act, or CARA. CARA listed 198 species. NEMBA now lists, um, the, the numbers keep on changing. It's around about 379 invasive uh, plant species. This represents about 32% of the known invasive alien or at least naturalized alien species in South Africa. What is interesting here is that of the 180 new species listed, ornamentals are a major part of them. There are a number of restricted or prohibited activities relating to these invasive species and these are importing into South Africa, it's restricted, the growing, propagating, moving, selling and donating of these species. All of these restrictions apply to all the, the listed species except for category 2 or permitted species in certain areas. If we have a look now at category 1A, which we've already heard about these, Sanby's EDRR program is trying to tackle these. Um, these species require immediate compulsory control and eradication is thought to be a possibility. Category 1B includes the most widespread and troublesome species. These must be controlled or perhaps contained. I'm still not quite sure what, what uh, wording is going to appear in the final regulations. Um, but one important aspect which Cora never had is that <coughs> landowners now must comply with management programs if these have been developed. Category 2 is very much like that in Cora. It includes all the commercial plantation species and these, uh, these species require permits for cultivation outside of these demarcated areas um, that have to be controlled and basically they're regarded as, as, as category 1B species. Category 3, these include species that are not yet troublesome. Some might be troublesome, but a phased approach is needed and, uh, and these can be shifted to category 1B at a, a, after a later reassessment. These plants may, uh, may remain, existing plants may remain, but they have to be controlled in riparian or wetland areas. If we just have another look at this histogram, just putting these invasive plants into perspective, we can see there there are about 1,200 species of in, in, uh, naturalized alien invasive plants in South Africa. Uh, member lists 379, it's about 30%. Category 1B is the largest category of the, the, the NEMBA species and as I said before, these include those that are the most widespread and troublesome. Basically with those, many of those, we, we try to aim to contain them but we also want to encourage people, no matter what the circumstance is, to try and do something to control them, to, get to, to, do, to try and get rid of them where possible. Um, for the first time now, there are some uh, exemptions here for sterile cultivars and hybrids. Now these have been, um, that are already in South Africa, these are exempted unless investigations prove the contrary. At this stage, we've accepted lists of these so-called sterile cultivars and hybrids from the nursery industry. We're taking their word of it at this stage that they are sterile, but if investigations prove that they are not, they will be removed from the list. 
And for any new introductions, these will have to be assessed before they could be exempted. Thank you.